Hey, this is Ed Herzog, and in today's Elementor tutorial, what I want to do is I want to show you how to put your website into maintenance mode or coming soon mode using Elementor. This was actually a question that came up recently in the Elementor Facebook group, and the original, the first few responses, people are saying, oh, you can get this plugin or use that plugin, but you know, finally somebody said, you know, you don't need a plugin to do that. You can do that right in Elementor. Um, so it seems like some people aren't aware of this particular feature. So I want to show you how to use it, how to set it up. And you don't need the pro version to do this. Uh, this is a feature that works in both the free version and the pro version. The advantage in this case of the pro version is that, uh, first of all, you get more templates. Uh, Elementor does have templates for both maintenance mo mode as well as the coming soon mode. And you know you just have more kind of features to design that page with, right? As you do with anything in Elementor, you've got Elementor Pro, you just have more features in general. So let me go ahead and show you how to do this. This is very simple. Uh, you come up here, you know, I'm in my WordPress dashboard, you go to Elementor and you go to Tools. And then you wait and right over here, uh, this item there, maintenance mode, Right now you can see, uh, you may not be able to see this, I realize, because you know the screen isn't gonna be that big, but you've got three modes. One is disabled, so obviously mine right now is disabled. Uh, then you can put it in coming soon, which has returns an HTTP 200 code, meaning the site is ready to be indexed. Or you've got maintenance mode, which says uh, it returns an HTTP 503 code, so search engines know to come back a short time later. And then it says it's not recommended to just use this mode for more than a couple days, okay? Um, so you've got those three options. Obviously, you know, you put it in the one that works for you. And then once you're ready to uh, make your website live again, you just come up here and click on disabled. Um, then you can come down here also and say, you know, who can access. So one option is, you know, anybody who's logged into the, into the website can access, uh, you know, this kind of panel. Or you can make a custom, you know, you could choose administrator, editor, author, contributor, subscriber, etc. You know, however it's set up on your WordPress dashboard. So, you know, you can uh, change that. Then here you choose your template. So basically, uh, you know, you're, what I'm going to show you is you're going to create a page in Elementor and then you'll, you'll pick it down here. Okay, so I, you know, before I relaunch my website, I did use this mode. And so, I, you know, I've got this page called under construction. So that's one I was using. And then you save your changes. It's that simple. Um, and then in terms of designing your page, again, it's just like anything else in Elementor. Um, we'll come here, we'll say add new. Need some Jeopardy music at <laughs> that moment. Uh, okay, and then we'll go maintenance mode, we'll just give it a title. Uh, save the draft. Edit with Elementor. Uh, ooh, why did that happen? Okay, here we go. Now you're probably gonna wanna set this up in Canvas. That's what I use because again, it gives you a bit more control over the design and the layout. So I would come over here and go to settings and make the page layout Elementor Canvas. Then you can, you know, again, you can do whatever you want here. Uh, you know, you can just design it the way you would a regular page. You know, you might want to put a header up here with your logo. Um, again, you're not trying to direct people to other pages of your website because right now it's in maintenance mode or coming soon mode. So you're not going to kind of, you don't need a full footer. You don't need links to your blog posts. Uh, none of that really matters. But you may want like just a header with your logo just to, for some continuity in terms of, uh, you know, telling people who you are, what your business is. Uh, maybe a, a, just a basic footer with your copyright down there at the bottom. Um, you know, again, you could just do it, design it yourself, all yourself if you want to, or you can use one of these templates that they've got. Um, if you come here and under pages, you can either search for maintenance. And you see you've got six maintenance mode ones, uh, of which four are pro and two are regular available to anybody. Or, you know, if, you're, if what you're doing right now is coming soon, you could type in just coming and you see for that you've got eight different uh, templates of which looks like three are free and five are pro. So, uh, you know, you can just, you know, if you're coming soon, uh, maybe like this design here, you can just insert it. <laughs> here we go again. 
Ooh, that didn't, oh, there we go. Okay, so, and there it is, right? And then, and here's one thing, you know, I think this is a good idea. Uh, you know, you see this page designed, uh, you know, coming soon, launch time is closer than ever, lift off in, you know, you set your countdown timer. But, you know, you should also think about how are you going to use this page while you're not really getting traffic to kind of your full website, right? You may still be getting some traffic, so how do you want to leverage that traffic? Now here, this is a good example. They've got a form, right? It says, discover the new and awesome features we've cooked up for you, subscribe to our newsletter and get the latest updates to your email. So that's one option is you could, you know, use this page if you're getting traffic to get people to sign up to your email list. Uh, you know, if you already got a freebie, you could uh, use this almost as a, well, as a landing page and have people opt into your freebie. Uh, that would be one option. You could also have them, you know, you could say, hey, you know, we're, we're relaunching soon, get notified when the new website is available and, you know, give us your email address. That would be another way you could use this. Um, you, could, you could also do uh, links to your social media, media profiles, right? Uh, you know, we're down right now, but uh, follow us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter, uh, however you want to set that up. So, you know, think about how you want to use this page. It's not just, you know, it's, it's obviously important to tell people, hey, we're down right now, we're, we're relaunching, we're coming soon. But also think about how you want to leverage, leverage this page for your business. You know, it's the nice thing about Elementor is it's very easy to do that sort of thing. Again, you can put a uh, sign up form in here. You could put social media icons. Uh, you know, I don't know. There's other things you could probably put in here. Facebook like button, you know, however you want to set it up. Um, that way, you know, if you are getting traffic, you're not losing that traffic, right? Because, you know, if, if you're only down for five or 10 or minutes, half an hour, it may not be that big of a deal to lose a little traffic. But, you know, if you're going to be down for a day, two days, you're, you know, relaunching your full website and maybe you're going to be down for two weeks, three weeks, you know, you want to make sure you're still taking advantage of that traffic that you have. And so, um, you know, again, this is one of the reasons why Elementor is so awesome is, you know, you've got all these widgets you can use to design this page, this maintenance mode or coming soon mode, uh, however you want. And then obviously once you're done designing it, however you want, you just, you know, you publish it as you would any other page. And then as I showed you in that first screen under Elementor tools, maintenance mode, the third option, you just pick that page. And then, you know, when somebody goes to access your website, they won't be able to access your website. They'll get, you know, this, uh, your maintenance mode, your coming soon mode page. So that's basically it. I mean, it's very easy, very simple to use, but also very powerful. So if you have any questions or comments, as always, please let me know. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I've got lots more videos on Elementor coming out. I think this is about my eighth or eighth video on Elementor and I've got, you know, lots more planned. And if you don't have Pro, again, this is a feature you can use without Pro, but obviously there's a lot of features that you, uh, you know, that uh, you will need Pro to use. And so, if you don't have it and you do choose to buy it, I always appreciate it when people buy via my affiliate link. It does give me a little bit of income. It allows me to continue to make these sort of free videos. You know, I try to make all my content free. And so that does, uh, by buying via my affiliate link, that does help me. So again, comments, questions. Uh, uh, actually, the other thing is to like the video. If, if you found value in this video, you know, it does help me if you like the video. Um, subscribe to my channel, and then purchase the Elementor Pro via my affiliate link. So that's it. I uh, hope you have a great day. Bye.